So the idea of cross training or mixing different types of martial arts together is nothing new. We can go back to the ancient Greeks, for example. And I'm sure arts that were developed from a combative battlefield use also took into account all the different factors that they needed to in order to function properly. I think where things started to change is as combat sports developed into very specific arenas. So for example, now if you do boxing, you're not allowed to kick the other person. If you do grappling, you're not allowed to punch them and so on. So that is something that developed over the years. And of course now we're seeing almost a return back to that idea of mixing martial arts in MMA for combat sports. And I think what happened in the more traditional styles is they became quite stylized and almost um, you had to look different from another style to differentiate yourself. So people started to specialize in certain techniques or certain methods and each style developed very much its own look and approach. Now it may be that within those styles they would cover handwork, grappling work, weapons and so on but nonetheless that was all done within a very specific framework. I was about 17 when I started training in Chinese martial arts. Prior to that I'd done some judo and boxing, just really you know at a basic schoolboy level. But nonetheless when I started my formal training I had some idea of those arts and also it was the case that back at that time and place if you came up against someone chances are they were going to try and box you even if they'd not done any boxing themselves everyone knew the old one too or giving them a good left hook kind of thing so I was very conscious early on of making sure that what I was training in worked against other things and there was a good little group of us who trained together for many years uh, from different backgrounds we were all working the same style or training at the same school but we brought all those ideas in with us. Outside of that, I was also lucky and I had some good friends who trained other styles and we used to get together quite regularly and exchange ideas. Uh, not so much going to each other's classes as such or learning the other person's art, but learning how to work against it. So that was a very useful thing for us as well. Now the problem came back then in some of the traditional schools, it was very much frowned upon to be mixing with other styles, let alone train him with them. And it became increasingly clear that this was not uh, tolerated, at least in my experience. So at that point I started, I sort of moved away from my original school and I started training with different people and spent a lot of time at workshops going all over the place and looking at different things. And what I found was pretty much everyone had something to offer with one or two exceptions but you could learn something here you could learn something there it might be about weapons or weapons defense it might be a way of working on the ground and so on the problem with that was then a you're spending a lot of time training in different places and b you're trying to synthesize all this together into one approach which is what we were doing at the time so when I discovered Sistema then it was like a breath of fresh air for several reasons one was that Sistema incorporated everything. There was groundwork, there was movement, there was kicking, there was punching, there was weapons. But wider and deeper than that, there was a lot of situational work. This was the first time I'd seen people working in cars, in confined spaces, indoors, outdoors, all types of stuff. And of course underpinning all that was a, a very comprehensive system of exercise, of movement, of breathing and psychological work as well. So that was the first thing. The second thing was there was no boundary of style. One thing I found in Sistema and still find is whatever experience you bring to it or you come with, you can still use. So if you're a very good boxer, for example, if you come and train in Sistema, we're not going to tell you to stop boxing. We're not going to say, no, we do it this way. I've never ever heard anyone in Sistema say, for example, no, the hand needs to be here and not here. It doesn't work like that. As long as we're working within the parameters of our four pillars, we're keeping an eye on our posture, we're mindful of our breathing, our levels of tension, and we're developing good movement, then you can do anything. It doesn't matter if it's a, a taekwondo kick or a boxing punch. If you're doing it through that Sistema operating method then that's fine. 
of course, what we hope is over time your movement will become more refined, your methods will become smoother, everything becomes more fluid, and you start to develop some interesting types of power. But none of that is bound up in any type of style. So the other point then is, as I said at the start, Back in the day, if I was working against people, which I occasionally uh, did, normally they'd try and punch. It'd be some kind of boxing. Nowadays people might go in more for jujitsu or some kind of grappling approach, but back then it was primarily boxing. So it paid to have a good knowledge of how boxing works. And this is something that always gives me a little kind of uh, twinge over the years, is you see, for example, a school and they're saying we're going to show you how to work against a boxer and we're going to get the partner or the student to throw some boxing punches and this is how we work against them with our style and it becomes quite clear that the person feeding in the boxing punches isn't really a boxer or grappler or whatever else they may be working against now it's fine to a point we've all got to start somewhere and you know perhaps we don't have a boxing expert to hand but you have to be aware of that so to get around this you can look at a couple of things if you want to learn uh, how to work against boxing punches then train yourself up in some boxing punches or train a couple of students up in boxing punches and at least you start getting some idea of the, the, the speed and tempo of how a boxer works. It's very difficult when you face a real boxer as compared to someone just throwing a couple of jabs, right? It's a very different experience. So that's one option. A second option is if you are lucky enough to have experienced people in your Systema group, then you can draw on that experience. In the group here, we're fortunate to have people who have been a, a boxing coach, uh, have been a high level Thai boxing competitor, We've got people who've done Aikido, Chinese martial arts, Jiu Jitsu, all kinds of stuff. Uh, we've got some people who haven't done anything much, of course. Uh, we've also got some people who have got experience in, uh, let's say, informal, <laughs> informal work. The nice thing is we can draw on all of those and input it into our training. So if I want to work against a boxer, then I'll ask one of our guys to come in and we can work against him or he can show us how a boxer will work and then we can start developing from there. The third option of course is if you have friends who train in other styles then you bring them in. I've brought people in for workshops before who, who do other things. Uh, again in order to tap into that experience to show us something of how that particular style works. And I guess the last option is to go to different schools if you have the time. Uh, you can go to a BJJ school or a boxing gym or an MMA gym or something like that. The difficulty there is you're probably not going to be able to test what you do against them. But maybe in a friendly way you can. It depends very much on going in with the correct attitude, of course. But if you're going in to join a class, any teacher is going to want to concentrate on what they want to teach rather than what you want to bring to the experience. But again, if you've got the time, you could do some of this art or some of that art and then bring that experience back into your Sistema training. Not so much to learn uh, how to punch or how to grapple because we have ways of doing that anyway. But as I said, more of a way of learning how to deal with that kind of person. It's very tricky in some martial arts where if you train within a style, you only train with people of that style and against that style. So if your style is always to punch a certain way and you're only ever training against people punching that way, it can come as a bit of a shock when someone punches differently. So be open in your outlook. All experience counts for something. I kind of cringe a bit. It's still very common to see, especially on social media. Is it better to use a fist or an open hand? Is it better to kick or to punch? Will this style beat that style? Is this better than that? I, I don't really find that particularly useful because A, everything is down to context. Sometimes it's better to do this. Sometimes it's better to do this, depending on what's going on. And B, style versus style, it's always a person. Uh, a style has limits. If you take away the limits of your style and start instead working from this uh, perspective of 
how is my breathing, how is my posture, tension levels, am I working in a nice fluid way, can I get good power in through my movement, psychologically how are things, am I able to work and respond under pressure, all these different things, to me that's a much more interesting path to take and of course that is exactly what Sistema gives us. Now at the moment we're doing some uploads for our new member channel and we're starting work from a boxing perspective. Uh, we're looking at putting in punches and strikes to the body. So we've got some interesting work going on there. As I say, we're starting from a boxing perspective, both in terms of how to deliver those strikes and then how to work against them. And as we go on, we'll be refining that and working into a more Sistema approach. So if you'd like to get access to that, then if you just click on the join button below, and that'll give you all the details of joining the membership channel. There's different levels you can join at. You get access to all the uploads going on there. Uh, we've got direct Q&A sessions going on on Zoom, and we've also got the chance to join our classes online as well. So I hope to see you there. And if you do have any questions or comments, please let me know, and I'll see you soon.